I had this topic in class a couple of weeks ago, actually. Um, out of 30 of us, only one person said they are for us to join the EU. Government surely wants to join some parts of it, but I don't think the people agree with that. One of the main uh, main uh, uh, things we have to do to join the EU is to recognize Kosovo, which is for like the vast majority of Serbs, not an option. That's our like history and nobody wants to get rid of their history of their country. And I think if we did that, no matter the, the privilege or some good things we would get from joining the EU, um, I don't think it would be worth uh, getting rid of our history. Socially, we would uh, lose a lot because uh, a lot of people would leave, our population would drop even more. Now we have a big brain drain problem. Uh, and uh, it would get worse if we joined the EU because we, would, <laughs> we, we don't need a visa to go somewhere. You don't need a working permit, you just go and work somewhere. I do think, as all things, it has both pros and cons. And I don't know, like a good example here, and I'm guessing that a lot of people in Serbia would use that as an answer. We managed to come through with the vaccination programs relatively well, and I would even say kind of better than uh, a lot of the European states, at least in the very beginning uh, of the vaccination. Um, one of the silliest examples I can think of, you go outside of Serbia to Europe and you see that museum tickets are priced, you know, kind of differently towards the European Union citizens and towards the non-EU citizens. And I think that Serbian people get a bit irritated by things like that. They think there is a certain amount of el el elitism and snobism. Obviously, almost obviously, EU doesn't want us. Uh, I just read uh, this morning that uh, uh, 10 EU members blocked opening of new chapters of negotiations. I grew up with these, you know, kind of ideas, almost dreams, you know, we are in Europe by 2010, 2015, 2020, you know, now it's 2021. And uh, I don't think there there is a kind of year in the air now, you know, like by 2025, we will be in. So I'm not an optimist.